leave everything you know about retouching at your door and let's dive into this video and explore this new technique of retouching that will change your workflow instantly if you've been struggling a while now with mastering how to retouch and smoothen your images in photoshop then i highly recommend this video for you my name is the and don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more videos like this in the future let's get started All right, so first off, we're going to do our basic cleanups by duplicating our background layer. And then we're going to use the patch tool to remove the blacks, um, any parts that we don't like on the face, the acne and the pimples on the face. So we're going to press and hold Control J like this. And then we're going to zoom into our image like that. Yeah, so as you can see, there are some acne on the face that we don't like that we're going to try and then remove. So we're going to use the patch tool, as you can see right here select the patch tool so we're going to just circle and then drag it to a much cleaner area like that so circle and drag to a cleaner area and then circle it like this and then just drag to a much cleaner area now we're going to repeat this to all her face and then make sure we have a much better image than we have over here so i'm going to speed up this process because uh, I'm going to be repeating the same thing over and over again. All right, so. All right, so let me zoom out. Let's check the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. Let me zoom in a little bit more. So this is the before and then this is the after. As you can see, the face is looking much more better than before, right? So now we're going to proceed to the next step. So all we're going to do is we're going to press and hold control and then select the background layer at one and then just match these two layers together like that match layer so we have our layer in just one one layer all right so we're gonna proceed and then um create our figuring separation adjustment layers right so i have an action over here i have it linked in my description box you can check it out and then just download it and play around with it so i'm just gonna click on it like this and it's gonna play so we're gonna keep the radius over here at 3.5 select okay all right so we have our progress separation adjustment layers created over here for us all right if you don't know how to create this so you can check out um the video before this one yeah i showed you everything how to create this from scratch right so all right so we're gonna select the color layer like this and then we're gonna use our mixer brush tool to retouch this image okay so I'm going to select the mixture brush tool like this so with the color layer selected and then with the settings over here we're going to proceed and then just start smoothening our, uh, the face of our model all right so i'm going to just keep the brush size on this and then i'm just going to start brushing on it all right so you're going to do it gently no rush and then make sure the skin is looking smooth all right, so most of your results on this stage, sorry, your results at this stage depends on the settings you are using, right? So I would advise that you check out the settings that I have over here and then just use the exact settings to do this step, all right, to get a much better result. I'm going to leave um, a link to this image as well in the description so that you can download it and play with it and then see, all right? All right, so I'm just going to keep brushing. As you can see, I'm doing it gently. I'm not just brushing anyhow. And I'm making sure 
if I'm um, brushing in the highlights, I'm brushing only the highlights. If I'm brushing in the midtones, I'm brushing in the midtones as well. Yeah. A lot of people complain to me that they don't get the results that I'm getting over here. That is because um, depending on how you did it, maybe you were just brushing it all over. That way you're not going to get the results that you want. And then remember to always keep the the, uh, the layer on the color layer, all right? You're always going to do this on the color layer, not on the texture or the, the tone layer, all right? So I'm going to proceed and then just keep brushing like that. I'm going to speed up this process as well because it's quite long and time consuming. So at this stage, I'm going to zoom out and then check out the results that I'm having. So I think um, our image is looking much better compared to when we started. So this is the before and this is the after. It's looking much better. We have the smoothness going on on the face and everything. So I'm going to proceed and then just clean up the texture layer over here because we have some stuff over here that I don't really like. So we're going to just clean it up to add more smoothness to our image, right? So I'm just going to select the texture layer like this. Yes, tomorrow we're going to use a spot healing brush tool to do this. So I'm going to select the spot, sorry, the spot healing brush tool right here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and then just increase the brush size by pressing the close brackets key to increase and then the open brackets key to decrease. All right, so I'm going to just dab like that. You don't want to be. You don't want this um the the skin pores to be too visible. You gotta keep it natural, but then you don't want to make it too visible that it looks kind of distracting to the image. Especially with this image, it's a close up image, so if there's anything that visible, it's gonna draw attention to it, which won't look that good in the image. So I'm gonna try and then just reduce it or remove as many as we can. Just to the point where our image is not, um, to the point where this is not distracting the overall look of the image. All right.
All right, so as you can see, our image is looking much better. The skin pores are looking much better. So let me just try and then clean the side up a little bit more. Let me zoom out. Let's check the before and after once again. So this is the before and this is the after. As you can see, our image is looking much better, looking much smoother. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and then just just add a little bit more smoothness to it. Just making sure everything is looking much better. So I get asked this question a lot of times. People keep asking me the use of this stone layer. And I, I quite remember I did a video and then I explained what it does, it does to the image. So I'm going to do this again with this image. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly brush through what the tone layer actually does. Because mostly when I do it, I don't use it. Yeah, that's because um, maybe the title of the, of the video is not concerning it. And I'm not going to do anything over there actually. So I don't normally go into uh, showing you what I do with the tone layer. But yeah, I'm just going to quickly show you what I do with it. So this one, you're just going to select the tone layer like this. And then you're going to select the brush to the normal brush. That is it. Yeah. And you're going to make sure you select the soft front brush like this. Yeah. So what, what we're going to do or what this does is it's as a layer of um smoothness to uh it adds a layer of smoothness to the image and it also helps you correct the tones of the image sometimes you have an image where the colors are not consistent the colors are not looking okay all right so this tone helps you to be able to correct this um these tones right so what we're gonna do is you're gonna just hold alt and then assuming the side is not okay, you want to just add a little bit of tones to it. You want to make sure that tones are even. You're just going to hold alt and then just select or click. And then just gently brush on this. But before that, decrease the opacity to, let's say, 19. And then the flow to 17. And then you're just going to brush like that. Make sure you're gentle when you're doing this because you might end up mixing the colors the way you want to like. All right, so just do it that you are mixing up the image and then you're, you're getting an even tone. You're just going to go and then just sample and just brush, making sure you are just evening out the tones of your image. Yeah, so that's basically what it does. This is the before and then this is the after. This is the before and after. I don't know whether you can see it, but then there is some changes happening in the image before, before, and then the after. So that's exactly what the tone layer does to the image. I'm going to do a separate image. Uh, sorry, I'm going to do a separate video and then go into details on exactly what the tone layer does when you're editing your um, retouching process All right so um for now let's just keep it at this because this image doesn't have so much imbalanced sorry um too much unbalanced tones so i'm just gonna keep it at this and then yeah i hope you learned something from this image hope if you like it 
just smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more thank you guys for your time thank thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching thank you so